Okay, so this is uh, a crash course on using uh, SQL Server Express. Uh, after you've installed SQL Server Express, uh, you should have um, a link to a shortcut to SQL Server Management Studio. Um, this is actually appearing appearing here, uh, but you will probably also find it under SQL Server 2012, right here. All right, so that's going to fire up. I've um, configured it to use Windows authentication, so I don't have to be entering a username and password here. So I'll just go ahead and connect to my default database. Uh, as you notice, I created an instance called David SQL. You could have called it anything you want when you uh, installed um, SQL Server. Uh, so what we currently have is some a default database. This is a system database. It's um, so what we want to do is create a new database for our training, excuse me. Um, so we just go ahead and right click on database and say new database. Uh, let's call this training. Okay. So now we have a new training database. You can see um, the file table is, uh, is empty. So I'm going to go ahead and create a right click on table create a new table. We're just going to create one table. We're going to call it, uh, well, when we say, well, we'll give it a name, give it the name names for the table name. Um, but for the columns, that is asking me to define it right here. I'll give it a primary key called ID. Uh, we'll just make it an integer. Click the left. Uh, and the second column would be first name. Make it a bar char or variable character of 50 should be sufficient. Let's call them as last name. Also make this a bar char or n bar char. Okay. And for the first column ID, I'm going to make this a primary key. So as you can see, it uncheck the uh, allow null. That means uh, you cannot uh, add a null to the ID column. You can with the first name and the last name. Okay, so now we have refresh this. And this. Oops, sorry. Got to save this. So I just click this uh, little uh, this icon here. Call this name. Refresh again. There we go. Expand that and this is a column I just created. Okay, so now we got a table. So what do we do with it? Okay, let's uh, let's add some um, let's add some data to this. So in um, in the training database, I'll say new query, so we can get a um, get a query screen here. So let's do a select star from name, and uh, you can hit execute here. Or you can hit uh, F5, uh, and as you can see, the results here is that uh, it will display whatever's in the table. In this case, it's, it's nothing. So I'm going to go ahead. And, and by the way, if you notice here that this is uh, set to the training database and not to the master model or or any other database. I want to make sure this is uh, set to training because uh, all the queries that you'll be executing here will be referencing this. Okay. All right. So what we do is select. Nothing comes up, so let's insert something. Insert names, uh, say value one, David, comma. And now I'm going to execute this, but I want to highlight this first before I execute it because, because if I don't highlight, I'm going to end up executing both of these, both select and insert. So I want to highlight the one I want to execute. So it tells me that one row is affected. That means it uh, had inserted one row. So let's uh, highlight the select again and execute that. And there's the result. You can see I just uh, entered uh, my name with the primary key of one. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, enter a few other names. Uh, primary key has to be different. So let's change this to two. Change this to O. Oh, Q, Jazz, all right, I'm 
sound like that. Turn to cube. Again, one row affected. So it just added another row. So let's see what's in there. Now execute. So as you can see, I have two rows of data. David Aiden, Hugh Jazz. Uh, so after we've inserted some, we can uh, now we can do some um, queries with some filters. So let's do select star from main where um, say first name equals uh, Hugh. Like that, Hugh. You can see it returns the condition, the uh, row where the first name equals Hugh, as I specify here. I could have done the same thing with David. Like that, Hugh. Here, or I could have done last name. Change it to last name. Yes. Cute. So it returns all rows with the last name of Jazz. Okay. Or I could have done this. I could have said last name uh, like uh, and say like the job with a percent sign here. Just sort of like a wild card. So anything that begins with J A, it doesn't matter whether it's Z Z at the end or F U or whatever. So if I just so it correctly re replaced uh, return this row. Uh, why don't I insert another name? Let's call it Jamie. Hugh Jamie. Oops. So what happened here was that you noticed that it didn't change the uh, primary key. So gave me an error. So let's go ahead and change that. Three. Cute. Oh, I like it. Let's do better this time. Okay, so now we have Hugh Jazz and Hugh Jamie. So if I run this again, it's going to find, it should find both Hugh Jazz and Hugh Jamie because I gave it a uh, wildcard of, um, I gave it a wildcard of J A and then uh, anything else uh, after that would be acceptable. So as you can see, it returns correctly. Okay.